Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls. This is part 12, and uh, yeah, we're going to take on the boss. So, let's uh, go this way. We cleared out the swamp, we fought many or Mildred, killing these bugs. We picked up a Firekeeper Soul, we found a cool ring, and got some ninja equipment. Yeah, got, got a lot of cool things down here. Um, so despite it being just like... Right back, get off me please. Despite it being a really uh, gross level, it's uh, really not that bad. So if we go this way. Uh, we got the squad that we gotta watch out for. Uh, one more item right here. Watch tight my chart. And I think if you really go around that way, um, you can completely avoid these guys. But we're gonna just sort of brave through it. Oh uh, boy. Nearly got me, but not really. Um, anyway, you just wanna sort of get into the cave hole and then you can uh, use your moss here to get the poison off. And alrighty, so as you can see, uh, I, don't, I don't think he's gonna chase us. Uh, we have a lot of sort of spider stuff, um, which is a bit of a hint for what's to come. Here we got some simps, they're, uh, they're just praying to the, to the boss. And uh, <laughs> as you can see, they they caught they caught something. So let's uh, crack them open and see what we can find. Now, normally, don't do this. You, there's no reason to do this. I'm just showcasing you guys. These worms they suck to fight, but with fire. Uh, ah, okay, okay, okay. Um, oh god, mistakes are made. With fire, they're not too bad. I thought, I thought. Okay, if you can actually hit them, that is. Yeah. And ah, okay, Whew, yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you don't have pyromancy or any sort of ranged weapon, these things, especially in like a small swarm, are um, very annoying to fight. So, you know, as I think most people did on their first playthrough, and you assume, oh god, enemies, kill them. Um, these guys will just hang out. They're not going to do anything. So just leave them alone, and you won't have to deal with that. <laughs> but uh, anyway. Let's, uh, let's stop messing around. Uh, let's go ahead and get ourselves Manager Mildred. It's gonna help us out. Um, she's uh, she's pretty cool about that. You know, you killed her, but she's um, still gonna let you summon her for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, no more dilly daddling. Let's get to it, and we're gonna have a very uh, a very nice cutscene up ahead. So yeah, this is a uh, Chaos Witch Quelag. Um, as you can tell from the cutscene there, they uh, gave us a little bit of fan service. Uh, oh, yeah. So she's all about lava and all that. Um, yeah, careful. So I think actually, let's see how much damage we do here. And that's a miss. But okay, wow. Yeah. So I think this will go by fairly quickly. Um, still probably gonna have a rough time. Despite I said that. Oh. Okay, okay, this is uh, still kind of sketchy. Whew. Yeah, um, anyway, quick little thing to point out is um, if you're playing online and you have messages, you'll definitely see a lot of people writing amazing chest ahead in here and outside the boss room. Obviously because of the cutscene, but uh, you can either annoy, ignore those or just rate them up depending on how they make you feel. <laughs> I would give them an up, up myself. Uh, whoa, okay. So, we've seen most of her attacks, she's gonna be spitting magma, which will stick around. Uh, there is one more attack, I wanna quickly showcase for you guys. Cause, okay, um, she's already almost dead. Well, that's uh, that's our Black Knight sword for us. Um, which, okay, I don't want her to get the last hit, so I'm just gonna finish her off. Um, well, yeah, that was, that was very smooth. Uh, come on, okay, like, it's supposed to be tougher than that. Uh, <laughs> but. That, we only had such an easy time because we were using up Black Knight Sword plus three. Uh, like I said, we get bonus damage against demons. She was a demon, and she went down really easily. 
But uh, if you have just like, you know, a normal plus five weapon, maybe plus six or seven if you found a few large shards, um, the battle will take a little bit longer. Also, if you don't summon Mildred. Um, so it can be a tough battle. It definitely took me a few tries. All the bosses took me a few tries on my first playthrough. But um, yeah, definitely not too bad if you're combo equipped. So right here, uh, we found the second bell. Yes, we, uh, we finally did it. All the way down here, we finished our descent. So let's uh, go ahead and pull it and get ready for some cutscenes. Alrighty, so as you can see, with the two bells rung, the door has been opened to that uh, big ominous gate that we uh, saw. That's uh, where our friend Seemeyer was hanging out, and um, yeah, he's going to wander in there, but we're going to have to check it out. In the meantime, though, um, if we peek out here, there's um, there's definitely more to down here. We are going to poke in there for a little bit. Um, I want to show you guys something you can do that'll be very helpful, um, but before we do that, Right here, we have another hidden wall. And up ahead, we got another synth, but let's see what he uh, has to say. Oh dear, what have we here? Are you a new servant? Uh, so definitely answer yes here. Mm. But you have no eggs. Ha, no matter. Go along and have audience with our fair lady. I pray that you will mind your manners. Okay, so um, he's going to take a second to get out of the way here. But right here, we're going to find a secret bonfire and another witch lady. Um, now, she's not hostile, as you can tell. Uh, we can rest at the bonfire. I'm just going to quickly level up, get my uh, intelligence up to 15. So there should be enough intelligence for now. Um, let's see, probably going to get vitality a little higher, maybe some faith. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Uh, in the meantime, let's see what she has to say. So you can't actually understand her. Um, now, she is a firekeeper. So just like that girl underneath our fire um, bonfire in Firelink Shrine, um, she's like bound to this bonfire and will protect it or something like that. Um, but that does mean that she can reinforce our Estus Flask. And uh, yeah, now we're at plus three. That Use that firekeeper soul that we found. Um, and let's enter her covenant. And by doing that, that's going to put us in the Chaos Servants now. Um, that'll give us this great Chaos Fireball, which is an awesome Pyromancy, which um, I think I'm actually going to equip. But uh, you can also offer humanity for more things. Uh, we don't have to do that just yet, but eventually we're going to be back. We're going to be giving her a lot of humanity. Um, I think i got to unequip one of these first. Yeah. So Chaos Pyromancies, they require two slots to use um, because they're so overpowered, but uh, if I get a chance to use it, you'll, uh, you'll see why. Um, not much else down here, um, but what we can do, if you remember, I chose the uh, the old witch's ring. Oh, and I was using my rusted iron ring in the fight. Well, make sure you always unequip it once you're out of the water. Um, but anyway, so the old witch's ring, if we put it on, and now we talk to her. That'll allow us to understand what she has to say. And we're going to learn her sad story, or at least a few pieces of it. Quaylug, what is it? Quaylug, my dear sister, the eggs, it hurts. They've gone still. I am afraid it may be too late. I am so sorry. Dear sister, I'll be fine. 
So yeah. Um, <laughs> pretty sad. So she's blind. She thinks that we're uh, Quelag, the boss that we just killed. Um, because we're wearing the ring, I guess. Um, but yeah, essentially their deal is that uh, Quelag was, you know, the tougher older sister. She's like the younger sister. Uh, she's laying the eggs. Inside the eggs are pieces of humanity. Um, which, you know, we can't, like, bust them open to get to it, unfortunately. <laughs> but it'd be cool if we could. But really, really dark. Um, but for some reason she wants to protect the humanity. And um, Quelag, I think, like, you know, hunts players or any wanderers that come to them. She'll take their humanity and give it to her sister. I think that like slowly keeps them alive or something. Um, but yeah, it's gonna take us to the demon runes down here. Um, we just wanna run down here. I'm not even gonna mess with that bonfire because I wanna just return to the main one um, by Quilana. Or not Quilana, but I don't remember her name. Um, the, the fair lady, the one that we just talked to. I don't think it's Quilana. There's another one. That, like, so, okay. Remember in the opening cutscene, there's the the um, Witch of Izalith and her Daughters of Chaos? Um, those were some of her Daughters of Chaos. Uh, Quelana, or in Quelag. Quelana's another one that we'll see eventually. And uh, the Fair Lady, who either I just can't think of her name or she doesn't actually have a name. Um, but yeah. Anyway, come in here. We're actually going to fight another boss. Um, now, the fight won't begin right away, but coming in here, we can find a path. Um, I'm actually gonna take off some of those because I want to run fast here. Now, we're not endangered quite yet. But as we walk along, uh, we can get a good view of the lava fields. Um, if we make our way up here... Um, anyone? Okay, yeah, I should stop saying that. <laughs> um, but for real, if we turn around the corner, there he is. So that's, uh, that's the boss. Um, he's not hostile yet, as you can see, with no music and him not chasing us. Um, he's also got a really sad story. He's actually the brother of um, all the Daughters of Chaos, who's been mutated by Chaos. Um, you know, Chaos, not even once, as they say. Um, but anyway, he's standing guard over here. This body here is either his mom or his sister. I'm not sure, but we're going to get her armor once we pick it up. And so when the fight starts, um, once he picks it up, that's going to piss him off. Obviously, grave robbing his sister's body in front of him is uh, going to piss off a lot of people. But him in particular. So when you grab it, right, um, he's going to get angry. He's not going to start chasing you right away. What he's going to do is he's going to like splatter this area up ahead with like a small spray of lava. So you don't want to grab it and run over it. You want to grab it, wait a second, and then run. So um, I don't want to do too much talking because you have to be running real fast. Otherwise, he'll catch you. Um, but anyway, at this point, I'll just show, not tell. So um, here we go. Just give him a little well. What is it? Your sister just close. What are you gonna do? Now we're gonna run. Um, and knowing my luck, he's still gonna manage to kill me somehow. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah. So you like don't even have time to stop and look. You wanna just keep going. Keep going. Now, you can fight him conventionally if you want to just, like, make him slam an area, avoid the attack, and then hit, his, hit him while his arm's sticking out. Um, or, if you lure him all the way over here, uh, if you notice down there, the cliff sort of ends, and he's stuck. Okay, oh boy, I may have walked too much. But, the cliff doesn't go all the way. Oh god! Alright, I survived, I survived. I'm just gonna keep running, keep running, keep running. And now sometimes it breaks for me and he'll keep attacking me anyway, but uh, at this point he should make a leap of faith. And there we go, he's stuck. He can't do anything else. Yep, he's uh, hanging on for dear life, uh, as you can see. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna put him out of his misery. Just give his arm a smack. One more smack. Uh, maybe one more. One more? Okay, one more for you. One more strong one. There we go. Yeah, he's gonna lose his grip. And down goes ceaseless discharge. And, um... Victory achieved. Hooray. So, the reason we did that, um... Is literally just because... Let's, uh, watch the cutscene.
Yeah, so uh, we literally only did that because it's so easy and we get a bunch of souls. <laughs> but um, when you're ready to come back to this area properly, you do have to kill them to sort of like, as you can see, it cools off a lot of the lava and now we can actually explore down there, which uh, we don't need to do right now at all, so we're not even going to mess with that. Instead, we're going to work our way out. Um, now, since we did rest at the uh, old witch's bonfire, we can just quickly go there. Um, yeah, I am going to meet you back at our little outpost bonfire. Hello, and we're back. Um, this is what I meant by the outpost bonfire. That wasn't obvious, but um, we are now officially done with down here. Um, I'm not going to level up because we have some plans for all those souls. And we can't use them until we're topside. So let's do that as quickly as we can. Get these oh, corpses off me. God. Um, now I may have missed a soul item or two somewhere in the swamp. Um, if I did, feel free to go looking. Um, but we did get all the important items. So I'm coming up here. It's uh, for the next stop. And we'll actually make our way out this time. So that was uh, our descent into madness. Uh, that's the, well. Now the descent will eventually continue uh, once we're ready to go back to the. To the oh well. <laughs> okay. So that's that's what I mean. This this part can be a little sketchy, no matter how experienced you are. So I'll uh, I'll meet you back over there. Okay, our souls are right here. Thankfully. Um, I'm gonna quickly put on a ring just for good measure. Because <laughs> we got a lot of souls. Um, it would really suck to lose those in a stupid way. Um, thankfully, there's nothing. I can just get past this part, which. Actually, you know, I never tried that before, but it's actually the much safer way to get off. <laughs> uh, so do that from now on. Don't do, don't do what I did. Uh, so let's see. Make our way up here. Uh, over there is where we found that uh, Firekeeper soul last episode, if you remember. Um, I believe it was up one more, and then we started working our way over there. Or not, right here, right here. So let's uh, continue upwards instead. And if we do that, we will find more letters. And then there is still one more armor set we want to grab. these guys. And I think it's um not quite over there. Uh this way maybe. Oh jeez, am I lost now? Might have been down below actually. Shoot. Let's hope this part will go nice and quickly and smoothly. But of course by town has to be annoying. I'm pretty sure, at least. Right? How do we get down there, maybe? Let's see if we go here. And, ah, uh, yeah, you want to walk across these branches here. So that'll take you over here. Uh, you'll have one more bug to fight. And then over there. I think is what we want. Uh, we'll get, yeah, the sealer set. Um, it's sort of like a cool red wizard kind of set. As well as a tin banishment catalyst, which is kind of like a half spear, half wand kind of thing. And then here you'll find the sorcery called Remedy, which I think will, like, heal your poisoning or something. Um, not entirely sure. But a uh, cool little thing you can find. And then up this way, I'm not sure actually what we're going to find. Um, no, can you not? Oh, wow, that's, that's fair. Yeah, hit me through the wall. Yeah, those mosquitoes, for all sorts of reasons, are one of the main pain points for me in Blight Town. That being a nice example of why. Uh, I didn't know there was this much more up here. And it doesn't look like there's actually a good reason for it. So, hooray for uh, wasting time. And got me doing okay. Yeah, look, it's stick, sticking up through the wall, and I can't even hit them. Real, real fair. So let's uh, let's actually make our way out of here now. So 
go down here and just jump down here. Can't walk past this again. And now we can start climbing the ladders out of here. He got back. Okay, we're, we're I swear we're actually almost out of here. We we've grabbed all all of the things we want and need. And now we want to get the heck out of here and never look back. But unfortunately, we will definitely be back. Here, finally. <laughs> is this the last ladder at least? I think it is. I think it... No, it's not. So over here is one last chest. And what we need in here is actually the key to get out of here. Um, key to New Londo Ruins. So surprise, hint, hint, where we're going to end up. Um, so we still do have a few ogres. And this might be a good spot to showcase Great Chaos Fireball. Which is like Fireball, but just like Quaylog, it'll leave behind like a nice little patch of magma, which will do damage to anyone that walks through it. So that first one wasn't too bad. Get some more poop over here. And maybe get this guy. Yeah, see, the problem is they have to actually stand and stay inside the um, Fireball to do that extra damage. Plus, our, our flame is still pretty weak, actually, so it's not going to be doing as much as it can. Once we get it up to, like, you know, plus 10 or plus 15, we can really start, like, one-shotting enemies. So, let's do that. Pick up all the poop and make our way out of here. And take in all that green atmosphere one last time, because that's going to be it. Now, okay, ooh, so here's the Valley of the Drakes. Um, this is the way we want to go, but before I do that, I'm going to go this way, because there's a cool item we can get that I want, but I'm a little worried it's going to possibly kill us, <laughs> depending on how fast I am. So, let's see here. As you can see, we got corpse of a dragon and he's guarding some items so if we come over here we can get really close pick up this one and for these other ones we have to actually run in just spam a oh no you got me it's gonna be really bad if my souls are like in in the zone here um it's gonna be a bit of a battle <laughs> oh god all right uh well that put me back down here I'm going to cut, meet you guys back by the dragon, um, see, see what we can find. Hello, we're back, and um, unfortunately for me, my blood stain is right in the midst of it all. Alright, so the plan is going to be, let's do that actually, let's see, let me see how many bad this makes. Uh, okay, so that's only going to poison me, so let's try something like this, before I run in, can I grab it? And then I just run out. Okay, uh, not bad at all. I thought that was going to go way worse. <laughs> but yeah, normally if you're smart, you you can actually roll out of there and not get hurt. But um, anyway, so what did we uh, do all that for? Uh, only for the coolest shield in the game, the uh, Dragon Crest Shield. Look at that. Really cool. Um, also the Astora Street Sword, which it's like... This is actually the weapon Oscar uses, and um, that we killed in the asylum. And um, it's an interesting weapon. Uh, it uses, needs a little bit of faith, but otherwise it's basically just a slightly stronger longsword. Um, now, normally, it's like not nothing too special, but um, here's another soul item. So this this door right here, um, this goes to New Londo, and as you know, we can get to the New Londo right away, and that's gonna put us right here. So that door that we just opened. We have to grab the key for it on the other side, but since we uh, since we didn't start with the master key, that was our option. If you did start with the master key, you could actually open it from this side, and um, 
with all the implications that it comes with it. So that means you can actually grab this Dragon Crest Shield and the Astora Straight Sword like right out the gate. You know, like when you're coming down here to pick up the uh, the Firekeeper Soul, you can just you like hit up that spot first, get yourself the sword and shield, come back, just grab the uh, Firekeeper Soul, and now you got a whole bunch of cool stuff for the early game. Um, and also, it'll it allows you to skip the entirety of Blight Town. Yep. If you don't want to deal with any of that, then um, yeah, you can just come to Firelink, go take that shortcut. You will have to work your way down the water wheel, and then you can just. But that's it. Then you just fight Quaylog, and you're done. So um, yeah, we finally made it back to Firelink Shrine. Um, but hmm, hmm, the check is gone. What's this right here? Dingy set and a black eye orb. And no firekeeper to be found. Um, yeah, I wonder what else does that mean? Uh, yeah. Uh oh. Uh, so th th this is a problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So our firekeeper has been slain um, mysteriously by I wonder who. Um, oh, and I did have a ring of sacrifice on when I was trying to collect my souls again there. Um, yeah, let's see that item we picked up, right? The black eye orb. Invade the world of a murderer of firekeeper. In the world, uh, defeat the murderer, perpetrator, claim the soul. Uh, black eyes keep constant watch on the city of the gods. And Orlando. So yeah, unfortunately for us, we're gonna have to avenge our firekeeper. And um, our suspect number one is our friend in gold armor. If you remember him, the trek, who even we he even let us summon him to to get on our good side. The the. How dare he, you know? But anyway, we're gonna we're gonna tackle that next time. For now, let's just uh let's talk to this guy. Did you ring the second bell? That is incredible, I must say. But now we have a new problem. It's noisy, it snores, and its breath is lethal. This is no laughing matter, I tell you. Hmm, I wonder what he's talking about. Damn. That stench. And I was really beginning to like it here. Oh, maybe it's time I do something about it. Ooh, so he's springing to action. I wonder wonder what triggers this, and I wonder what the source of the smell is he's talking about. Because we can't actually smell things in games. Um, so yeah. There's that, there's that guy over there. Uh, we're not going to talk to him yet. Uh, he's, got, he's got a lot to say. But uh, for now, let's uh, call it at that. Um, not real quick, that's actually upgrade oh, our yeah, Ironancy Flame. You've been a stranger these days. Why? What? What? What's spectacular Pyromancy? Tell me about it. I, I, I have never seen anything like it. Okay, so... Sometimes, you may not actually want to tell him about it. Uh, we will, because we do want to get, like, you know, all the quests and stuff. Um, but we are going to show him that Chaos Fireball that we found. Why, yes, of course. Thank you for sharing. I'm still an able pyromancer. I shall locate her myself. I'm in your debt once again. So yeah, he's gonna go and um, find the source of that chaos pyromancy because you know that's what he's all about. Uh, which will unfortunately not end well for him. But uh, spoilers, right? Um, but yeah, that's all I'm gonna send it to. Just uh, plus six for now because we do need twenty thousand souls. Goodbye then. Come back if you find anything new. Yep. Goodbye. Goodbye, Laurentius. Um, <laughs> anyway. That that is actually gonna do it. We are running very long here. Um, we're gonna just hang out here. We're gonna we just pretty much beat the early game of Dark Souls. Um, next comes the mid game. So I will see you guys next time. Bye bye. <laughs>